Welcome back. On this episode, we're going to be installing some guttering onto our tiny cabin bunkie. Why do you say that with a smirk on your face? You're in charge of those. Yeah, this is a really smart idea. You could swing at least two chimpanzees off this bracket. I'm not understanding the issue here. As you can tell, we're procrastinating about getting started today. It's, uh, it's raining outside and the job for today is to install the gutters. But it's Sunday, it's nice and warm and cozy inside. Outside it's wet and three degrees. So and it's my birthday. And it's Mouse's birthday today. Happy birthday, Mouse. So what I'm going to do when I finally get off this sofa is we're going to install this clothes drying rack that I picked up. It's my, my thought was we have the fire, the little stove fire going, and it kicks out a lot of heat. Like right now in here, we've got it going, and it is 24 degrees in here right inside the bunkie, which is fantastic. And so, this uh, is basically it's an articulating arm that uh, you screw to the wall, and then it, I think it's got, it's got three components, so it'll come out in a kind of U shape or whatever. And so I thought, well, we'll get that, and we'll mount it next to the next to the chimney, so that if you have wet clothing or things are just going to dry out, we can basically bend the arm out, and it can kind of form a uh, a U around the pipe, around the stove pipe. And then the heat from the pipe and the stove can dry off uh, any of the clothing stuff. Let's put this little uh, clothing here. Which side do you think would look best? Should we put it on the, on the left side? Bearing in mind on the right side we're going to try and put some shelves. Yes. How high up should we put it? Uh, it's got to go fairly high depending on what you want to hang off of it. Yeah. Um, but think, yeah uh, right, maybe if we put it kind of up here... This will let you fold it out and then hang things on above the above the stove because there's quite a bit of the heat comes off the pipe, but you've also got the diesel heater Ooh. to take into account too. Oh. <clears throat> While well, still on the vacuum, on the bit that says "Do not stand on the vacuum," it slipped. I hate using Philips heads. They're so easy to strip. On the, already? on the cheap. Yeah. On these cheap screws. Okay, no swinging off this, kids. Okay. No problems. But I think that's rather cool. Will it do the job? <clears throat> it will do the job, Mouse. We can now dry our sodden wares, soaked wares, over the fire. So one of the things I've wanted to do for a while is to get some gutters onto the bunkie so that we can hook up a water catchment system so that when it rains and snows, we can replenish a water supply. And so today, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put the guttering on. I don't have uh, a, a container. Uh, I'm going to try and get one of those kind of 1,000 litre uh, big water totes. Um, we're going to try and get one of, one of those. I don't have one right now. But what I want to do today is to put on the guttering so that at least it's ready when we get it. And we can just hook it all up. I picked up some nice black guttering so that'll match the uh, match the bunkie. And my plan or my thought is that we could then she take the front. We're going to put it on the front, and then see if we can run a, 
a full pipe like across the side here to take the water to the back and then we can put the water collection tote at the back. That's option one. Option two is we put the water collection tote kind of right here. Um, I'm not thrilled about that idea because I want to do some sort of like open area, open air cooking area thing. But first things first, we've got to get the gutters up and installed. So I'm going to start on the back of the bunkie. So if I screw it up, you don't see it on the front. One of the things I'm going to have to do, my God, who installed this roof? The overhangs are terrible. But not brilliant. Uh, one of the things I'm going to have to do is I am, um, because my fascia boards kind of slope in, we didn't actually kind of square them off when we built, put the roof together. I'm going to have to put some sort of angled pieces uh, to mount the gutters to. So, so that's going to be the first task is figuring out what the angle is and then fabricating some up. Twenty-five degrees, apparently. So putting that on the on the roof line there, getting the bubble in the center for the, for the level, uh, comes out at uh, twenty-five degrees. If I'm right, that should give us the angle that we need. Not even close. What did I do wrong? It's kind of close. It's kind of... Hmm. For giggles, I tried taking the uh, the opposite cut. The other piece was here. Try and take the opposite one and straighten it up to see if that would make any difference. It didn't, but you probably knew that. So what I did was I just took a measurement of a straight edge and the distance to the to the bunkie. See if that works. That looks much closer. If you know how to use one of those squares to measure an angle, or you have a video or know of a video, an instructional video, can you put it in the comments for me? Because this is going to be a long day. It's usable but not perfect. So I think what I'm going to do is break out the uh, mitre saw and I can get them all the same rather than with the circular saw. That one works perfectly. I found the angle is actually 22 and a half degrees, which is a preset on the miter saw. So it looks like the GoPro battery died, so you missed all that. Let me get you caught up now that I got the batteries charged. Uh, after finding the right angle on the saw, we got some little brackets installed all the way along. Uh, and I've managed to do that on both sides of the bunkie. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to put some um, black uh, paint on there to protect them for a little bit longer. And then once we've got that done, we can start mounting the, the gutters.
Alright, now how how am I gonna hold one end up while I work on the other end? Maybe I could just tape it. What do you think? It's gonna be hard to get the clamps up there. But a bit of tape would work. Didn't think that bit through. I didn't think that bit through. There isn't enough space between the ladder and the roof to fit the uh, to fit the gutter. Should have brought my step ladders. Never knew my real ladder. Oh, and I had a thought too. Oh, another thought. <sighs> oh, the thermometer, yeah. Is it the thermometer there? But then we can't see it. Yeah, but then you don't want it to be where the sun will directly... Hmm. Yeah, you can put the thermometer where you want to put the thermometer. I just thought that we would be... We could put it on the tree over there, then we can see it from a bunker, that kind of thing. Maybe. You can, sure. I'm too blind. I, th I thought we'd just put it on the, on the yeah, sure, wherever you want to put it. Yeah. No, wherever you want to put wherever it. Wherever you want to put no, it. No, wherever you want to wherever put it. Wherever you want to put it. Okay, put it there. Yeah. <laughs> I'll put the thermometer up now and then that's one less thing. No, I don't want. I don't have a screwdriver tiny enough to do this. I think. Well, use big manly screws if you've got them. All right. See, even the screw in the picture <laughs> isn't these little. You sure you want it there? If, if that's where you want it, it's your birthday today. If you want it there, <laughs> you wouldn't make me feel bad. Can I be more condescending for that? Oh, I'm sure you could. Because I'm like, you have got the spirit that wants in you. Yeah, I thought about it, but it's just a woodshed. <gasps> oh my goodness! This oh. is such a progression in mindset. <laughs> yeah. It's just a woodshed. For Mr. Overthinky OCD. Hang, hang on a second, let's make it straight. <laughs> the moment are done. Check. I wibbled it. You wibbled my camera. Mm. I don't know. Oh. <laughs> I mean, these things have like a really good... What's this it? is the GoPro 11, I think, isn't it? Yeah. It has the... Auto anti-wibble. <laughs> it has anti-wibble and it has horizon leveling, so it doesn't matter what angle you put the camera. Mm. It's automatically horizon This is not leveling. an advertisement. No, I mean, it's, it's a good enough camera. Audio is okay in front of the camera. And now it's raining again, which, can, which kind of puts a pause on installing the gutters. Even though they're meant for the rain, I don't really want to be out there. getting super soaked. Have some lunch and wait and see if the rain lets up. So the rain has passed us by, finally. We've got a bit of sun coming out. The clouds are moving away. Uh, thankfully. And some clear blue sky is coming this way, which is good. Um, I really want to try and get the gutters done today and thinking a little bit about how much we can get get up there to do it. My original idea was we'll just stand on the table. That may work. We have a plastic folding table. 
Uh, plan A is uh, I'm going to move the quad over um, just to where we need it. Then we can use the front and back cargo racks of the quad to actually stand on to give us that height elevation to be able to fit the uh, to fit those gutters. On the not funny scale mouse, that was way up there. Question. Why do you say that with a smirk on your face? Just asking. Right. Want to ask a question? Can I just ask a question? It'll cost you a smooch. I don't care if it's your birthday or not. <laughs> um, when the snow slops off the roof, mm -hmm. what's stopping it from ripping the gutter off? These brackets. Is it pretty strong? Yeah, you could swing at least two chimpanzees off this bracket. And there's going to be seven of them on each side. Okay. Right. Right. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it's alright. Is it though? Is it though? <laughs> You're in charge of those. Yeah, this is a really smart idea. <laughs> yeah, we've me. got, because the, the bunk is like uh, 14 feet long. Uh -huh. So we're going to do one and a half. Uh, yeah, but I thought you would have pre-cut them, that's all. I thought you would have cut them by now. When you're putting all your little bits and pieces together. So because I haven't ready. done it yet, that's what you're... you're yeah. <laughs> I really just thought you'd already done that stuff. I, no, not yet. It was just to go up. Oh, sh**. What? You need six feet to go to there. I'm not understanding the issue here. Did you get too little? Yeah. Oh, okay. Basically, we need 16 feet. No. East, front well, and back. And you only bought... I bought three ten-foots. Okay. So it doesn't get finished this weekend. Seventy-seven inches. Let's do that, because we can't use the other bit anyway, so we'll overlap it. There's a, in the green box, in the green box, there's an edge piece, like, a, like an end cap. That? Yeah, it has to be the right one though. Is that the right one? I didn't know. Lucky. I think you'll find I knew all along.
like that. Magic trick. You take two, two of these together, like this, and you tie them in a knot, like this, and you scrumple them into a ball, and look at that! Ta-da! One piece of fabric. Uh, and one piece of fabric I now have to pick up off the floor! <laughs> it's your birthday. We have a magic trick for you. <laughs> Obsessed for my birthday. <laughs> <laughs> that looks pretty snazzy. Oh, I left my pliers up there. My gosh. Darn. I think I'm going to leave it there for now. And I can't do the back yet because we only have one piece. So I guess I could put one piece up. Actually, no, we're not. We're going to leave it there. I'm going to pick this up next time we're here when we have enough gutter to do all of it. I've got nothing else to say, really. Your battery's nearly running out, though. You're at 5%. All right. I'm going to leave it there for now. We'll deal with the rest of the gutters next time. And I uh, hope you have an amazing week. We'll see you on the next episode. What's wrong with your fire, mouse? It's not my fire. That's it, why is it my fire when it's an issue? Oh. You built this fire. I built this fire on rocket ship.